Hello everybody, I'm Christy and today I have a Trader Joe's haul for you. So if you'll just stick around, I'll show you what I got and if you'd like to wait till the end, I'll give you a review on some of the items that we picked up in our last haul. I'll tell you what I think. Okay, here is an overview of everything we picked up at Trader Joe's. I've mentioned this before, Trader Joe's is about an hour and 15 minutes away for us. So I try to stock up on a few things since we only go about once a month. So let's go over, if you'll stay to the end, I will be able to review some of the items that we picked up last month that we've ate since then and tell you what we thought. So they did have some locally grown produce out front of Trader Joe's. So I picked up two zucchinis just for Chris and I, and then Briley wanted just one cucumber. So I got that. This is our absolute favorite corn ever. If you've not tried this corn, you need to. It puts all other corn to shame, canned or frozen. I mean, this is the next best thing when it comes to corn on the cob, fresh homemade. So we get two of these. I wish I would have got more but I just get so overwhelmed sometimes when I'm in there. We picked up the Trader Joe's um, beef and broccoli. Also the jasmine rice, we will pair these two together. This is several packets. You get three 10 ounce packets of the jasmine rice and you can just microwave it. So this makes for a quick meal. We have got this before, it's this, um, sweet and spicy definitely true and it comes with a ton of sauce we'll put some of the extra sauce over the rice this is one of our favorites so we pick it up quite often this one is Preston's favorite when he just wants something to eat and go I picked up two of the chicken tikka masalas for the 8.5 ounce and he likes to eat those with the naan which I also picked up right here it's the garlic naan you get four pieces in here. This stuff is absolutely delicious. Preston eats it, so do I, and Kerrigan likes it with the curry chicken salad. This is such a different chicken salad. It's nothing like I can explain. Um, it says slightly sweet with a spicy kick. It's 11 ounces. She absolutely loves this. Kerrigan does, and she is a horribly picky eater sometimes. So, also picked up one of the Southwestern Chop Salad Kits. I've been wanting to try their kits for quite a while and I went ahead and picked this one up. It is a complete salad kit. So it's got cabbage romaine, uh, cheese, tortilla strips, green onions, cilantro. It even comes with an avocado dressing. It's got everything in here that you need. So if you wanted to add a meat to it, you could. I may add some chopped chicken that we have um, left over from some um, burrito bowls we made, some shredded chicken. So I may add that to this just to give it a little bit of extra. And Chris and I will have this for dinner one night. He picked up some cheese. We have never picked up their cheeses before, but I always hear wonderful things about them. This one is Gouda. We're huge Gouda lovers in this house, every one of us. So we wanted to give that a try. Chris also picked up, they had these right up front. I'm not sure they may be new and it is their um, organic kosher hot and spicy dill pickle chips. Him and Preston love all things spicy. These look amazing anyways. Look, oh my goodness. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't eat these. I'm not a huge spicy lover. But this is 16 fluid ounces for those. We always pick these up for Briley. And these are the organic, low-fat, wild berry yogurts. 
She absolutely loves these, so she always picks um, up two so that they'll last while we're, you know, till we make it to the night, next trip. Picked up some of the chocolate filled crepes. These are another one of Kerrigan's favorite items. Um, she got addicted to crepes when we were in the Dominican Republic and ate them every morning while we were on vacation. So she likes these. I needed Pop-Tarts like I needed a hole in the head. If you watch my Dollar Tree videos, you know I have a ton of Pop-Tarts because they have a great buy on them right now. But this is one of Preston's favorites and they're the cherry pomegranate. You only get six. They are organic, but they are such a different flavor. The cherry and the pomegranate mixed together. These are really good. And Briley wanted some more of the silver dollar pancakes. Again, it's just a luxury item. I pick them up when we're there just so they can have them. And she also loves the turkey club wraps. Um, this is just turkey breast, bacon, and lettuce, tomato. It's quite a lot of food here. She'll probably eat on this three times today. So we picked that up for her. This is ravioli that we're having for dinner this week. And I've not tried Trader Joe's ravioli before. New product I wanted to try for us. This one is the sun-dried tomato ravioli with goat cheese. And it's the 8.8 .8 ounce. And this one is the ricotta lemon zest ravioli. I wanted to try it also. So excited to try these. I did pick up two more of the peach Bellini jams. This is a 12.5 ounce container. Um, this is absolutely delicious. We've already purchased one in the past. We finished it up. It was good on biscuits, peanut butter and jelly, anything you could put it on. Um, and it went pretty fast in the house. It is in a cute little cup. We went ahead and just got two more of these. Picked up some more of the corn salsa. This is um, a tomatoless salsa. We just love all of Trader Joe's sauces. I don't think we've ever found a salsa there we didn't like, but this is the number one in the house. Um, for the older kids and me and Chris. So got one of those. I've been dying to try these. I pick them up every time I'm there, but we always put them back. This is the short cake biscuits. So I've got two packs of strawberries here. I picked up at Aldi this week and I'm gonna make a strawberry shortcake. These look absolutely amazing. When I was checking out, the lady was telling me how delicious they were and she gets them all the time. So we're excited to try those for dessert one night. Um, Chris always picks up when he's with me his uh, chili spiced mango. These are just dried mango chunks and they've got a little bit of a spicy seasoning on them. And here is your ingredients and your macros. And then Kerrigan picks up some of the coconut strips. She likes to have these to snack on. They're just lightly sweetened. And also your ingredients, not much in there. We never pick up ice cream products when we go because like I said, we are an hour and 15 minutes away. We did take the cooler this time and Chris and Kerrigan ate one on the way home. They've held up pretty well, I guess, considering they came so far. They did melt a little. You can see they're the size of about the palm of your hand. It's two cookies. They looked better than this when we got them. They have had a rough journey home. There's still two left. There's four in a box. These are new and I wanted to try them because I usually just pick up the granola bars. This is the peanuts on a date bar and they're just five ingredients. Dates, peanut butter, peanuts, flaxseed meal, and sea salt. And I thought they looked absolutely del delicious. You only get five in these though. Here are your nutritional contents and ingredients if you're interested in that. Also new was the mini dark chocolate mint coins. So I get the, I got those to put up for um, later on in the month because we have just so much sweets. But I wanted to try them because I think they're just a new seasonal item. And I was watching a video and she said they taste like um, 
Thin Mints, Girl Scout Thin Mints. So wanted to try these for sure. And it said flavored with other other natural flavors. Again, I think um, I've mentioned this in my other videos, but if it's a Trader Joe's brand product, it'll say right here. Um, they do not put any preservatives, artificial dyes, artificial flavors, anything in their products. So that's why I like to get things like that at Trader Joe's. Um, picked up some of the Scandina Scandinavian swimmers. These are like um, just the name brand gummies. Um, this is a 14 ounce bag. It's quite huge and this will probably last the kids until we go back to Trader Joe's. We haven't tried these before but one of Preston's favorite flavors in anything is mango. So I wanted to pick these up. These are the fruit and yogurt gummy chews with other natural flavors. You can't see what they look like on the inside. So thought those would be interesting to try. Picked up some more of the nachos. These are like um, Doritos, except there are no artificial dyes in them. And Briley has uh, an issue with two things, Fruit Loops and not um, Doritos. Sometimes she breaks out in hives and starts itching all over when she eats those. So I think it's the dyes that are inside them. So if I pick these up, she's fine and she eats you know, she eats on them for a good week when she has lunch. These are a really weird product. They're peanut snacks. They're sort of like um, Cheetos, the soft uh, puffed Cheeto kind of things, but they're peanut butter. Nobody in this house likes them except me. <laughs> and it's just a weird taste. It's so different, but I just love them for some reason. And these just have peanut paste, corn grits, palm oil, and salt in them. Um, you get 40 pieces for 160 calories. The whole bag is three servings. They're just a good little snack to have, and I absolutely enjoy them. They're just a luxury item for me. And these were new. Um, we love peanut butter, of course, so wanted to pick these up. These are the peanut butter cartwheel cookies. They are 7.9 ounces, it looks like. It just says peanut butter cookies filled with creamy peanut butter. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> Can't wait to try these. Again, gosh, if y'all seen any of my hauls lately, you know that we have had a lot of snack foods, so the majority of these are going to be put up and rationed out so that we don't go through them um, so fast. Because, um, like I said, we only go once a month, if that. Picked up some of our favorites. Um, this is the Milk Chocolate Peanut Butter Cups. These are comparable, if not better, to the Reese Cups. And you know the ingredients are better for you because it is a Trader Joe's brand product. So, they don't have any artificial flavors, dyes, or preservatives in them. And, I mean, it's about as healthy as you can get for a peanut butter cup. And I see people get this all the time when they go to Trader Joe's and I've been dying to try it. We usually just get the 100% apple juice um, at Walmart, which I did get again this week just in case the kids don't like this. But this is the green plant, green food, fruit blend juice. It's 100% juice, again, no artificials. And it's um, barley grass, spinach, broccoli it's got things like that in it but it also has your fruits in it and you can read on the back what they are it's got banana puree it's also got peach puree apple juice i think i saw pineapple mango puree i guess where i saw pineapple too probably just looking over it but it's got all those things in there to make it sweet plus it's good for them and it's 120 calories for eight fluid ounces and there is your vitamin contents that are in it. Gosh, 40% of your vitamin C for the day, 15% of your iron. So I'll probably try that too. Definitely looking forward to this. I've heard great things about it. So that is, I believe I went over everything that we picked up at Trader Joe's. Stay tuned to the end and I will give you guys some reviews of what we picked up last month that we went through and if we liked it or not. 
So I wanted to take this chance just to review a few items that we picked up at Trader Joe's um, in the last couple of hauls that I've had, just to give you our opinion on them. So the first thing I want to talk about was the pink lemonade. We had tested the um, just regular lemonade that they had um, sampled and we really enjoyed it. When we got over to it to pick it up off the shelf, they had the pink lemonade. We decided or I talked Kerrigan into getting it. Ian Kerrigan did not like the pink lemonade. We would, if we purchase again, just get the regular lemonade because it tastes really well. Okay, another item I wanna review for you is the pizzas. They have these in pepperoni and cheese. Um, they're, I think, four in a box. They're just their personal pan pizzas. You can fix them, I believe, in the microwave, but we fix them in the toaster oven, and the kids loved them. Kerrigan was a huge fan of these. It was something that she could fix really quick and easy um, in the toaster oven. Had a delicious crust, because I even tasted of it just so I could give my opinion. So these will definitely be a repurchase in the future. In the past, we picked up the fish nuggets, and I did fix those in the toaster oven when we had them. Um, they are made with great ingredients, and they were good. I don't know if I would pick them up again, just because I still do like um, like the Gordons, and, but I probably wouldn't pick them up again. It's awful. I hate to say that. Okay, another item that we picked up and tried was the wine country chicken salad and Kerrigan is the one that picked this up. It is a sweet chicken salad. It has um, ingredients in it that just make it a really sweet, really, really sweet chicken salad, but she loved it. She would buy it again. Um, I did taste of it and it was good. I did, you know, eat a couple bites. Mom also picked up one and she did not like it at all. She said it was way too sweet for her. We did get rolls for this um, and these were the French sweet milk rolls. I'll put the picture up there. And they were absolutely delicious and they were so good with a sweet chicken salad. I'm not sure what else you could use them for. If you know, just comment below. Um, but they were really delicious and we would pick those up again. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching my Trader Joe's haul. Like I said, we only go once a month, so we stock up on a few things when we're there. We absolutely adore Trader Joe's. Tell me in the comments below what are some of your favorite items to pick up because I'm always looking for new stuff. Till next time, guys. Bye.